Does that look like a heavily regulated industry to you? Because it doesn't to me. Uh, I need to say though also that those wood piles have disappeared um, currently, we'll say. Um, sometimes it goes in cycles, um, but there's not an awful lot of wood in the yard at the moment, in that particular yard, um, and that was built between 2010 and 2012. Um, so I just wanted to get that point across. Um, so what was going on to now was, oh yeah, I wanted to point out my jumper, C and D. Um, and why I'm wearing it is, it was a birthday present recently on my sister, my own sister. And when I asked her, did she know what the symbol meant? She said, no, she had no idea what it meant. And then she thought about it and said it was the Mercedes sign for a Mercedes car. So basically, why I've worn it in particular is because she bought it in good faith because she thinks I'm a bit trendy as I'm the oldest sister. So she bought it because this is like back in fashion now, apparently. But just because it was her ignorance of what it actually means, I mean, it, 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 I understand now that C and D isn't really the, um, what the symbol means now, it's more about peace. Um, and the thing is about the, the waste and recycling industry is it's the ignorance of the people because they probably don't know of the potential dangers. I mean, the fact that there's so many in this room don't know, uh, you know, the hazards that, that wood dust itself, um, you know, can cause. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So that's what I want to say about Okay, so there's a document, DEFRA 2008, Waste Wood as a Biomass Fuel. And in that document it says, and I quote, with the majority of waste wood arisings being contaminated, the key to realising this potential is greater waste incineration directive compliant combustion facilities. A number of economic measures exist and are being strengthened to divert waste from landfill to uh, sorry yeah, landfill uh, to um, satisfy waste wood sorry to direct waste wood into the renewable energy market. So DEFRA, our own government, know that waste wood is actually um, contaminated. And it's contaminated with things like brick dust, paint flakes, metal shavings, glass shards, textile fibres, unidentified white amorphous flakes was in one dust uh, report that I've seen, and also heavy metals, aluminium, chromium, copper, zinc, um, manganese, lead, sometimes mercury, uh, sulfates, um, I've seen reports where there's very high sulfates and an environmental analyst in the United States has advised that it's likely to be from gypsum board, uh, which is part obviously of the waste wood recycling um, chain. There's another document, it's called PAS111 and it's uh, by the Wood Recycling Association, I can't remember the year, it might be 2011. And that goes very much into the no contaminants within the waste wood stream. It lists all the things that I've just told you, uh, plywood, chipboard, MDF, which I understand is actually banned in the United States, but they recycle it here. So all those, all those elements and all those contaminants and pollutants are in these dust emissions that are affecting, we believe, uh, potentially um, uh, communities around the country who uh, are coming forward saying that they've got health issues. Oh yeah, so I brought some samples here, uh, results of samples. I just wanted to, to excuse me, just read to this, of 218 samples taken by the Environment Agency, and I'd like to add with the few colleagues that have come up, uh, sorry, down here from the north with, the Environment Agency, uh, fondly known as the Evading Agency, by many um, of the um, uh, campaign groups. And uh, out of 218 samples, there was fine particulate matter in 156 samples, Vegeta vegetable matter and fibres in 210. And I smile here because a guy from Avon Manufacturing Group wrote to the uh, government and asked them, did they mean it was errant cabbage or broccoli? Could they please specify what the vegetable fibres were? Metal fragments, glass fragments, brick dust, glass pieces, glass pieces, synthetic fibres, there are textile fibres, which is likely to be from insulation, various colours, blue, purple, red, gold, and black. Positive test for linen for wood dust on 141 occasions out of 218. That's just to give you a, an idea. Now, I also understand from um, some of the research we've done, the Let's Recycle um, uh, uh, web um, company, company, that's what I can call them, who are advisors and uh, uh, an open window to the industry. They wrote an article uh, in the last 12 months, I think it was, saying that um, Sweden are actually um, 
how much it declared the UK supply of waste wood as being of very poor quality because it's full of metals. Now I can't get my head around watching, watching this why we're buying in, you get this company here who are exporting out. Can, I, can someone kind of talk me through that a bit later on because I'm going to be scratching my head about that one on, the, on my way home. Um, next. <laughs> 